The 9th Legion marches once again into the unknown, to the world's end, into Scotland. Yes, this is the 9th Legion's final march, famous disappearance into what is most historians believe is Scotland. Um, there are other theories that they've disappeared elsewhere in the Empire. But it is going to be today in Scotland that they face their final opponents. And yeah, so we have a huge long line here. Look at this, all of legionaries. It is nearly the size of a legion. We have nearly four to 5,000 men on the battlefield. And their a the aim of the ambushers, the Scottish and their Norse uh, uh, allies, which we are using today to just like fill the ranks, is the eagle. The famous eagle of the ninth. And it's in this huge cohort of the cohorts Aquilae and uh, it's well protected so we do have an excellent ambush battle on today and look at this long column it is magnificent and yes you can see the ambushers waiting ready in place on either side all the way down this line there is going to be a chaos that will ensue, ensue. so I do have the help of two of my uh, subs in this one I'd just like to thank them for taking part and uh Getting involved in the scenario. If you guys want to get involved in the scenarios, then don't forget to join the Discord, which will be in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this battle, or this ambush, I should say, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment if you want to see any other scenarios on the channel. But for now, it is going to be the ambush and the fall of the ninth. So just kind of give away what's probably going to happen, but I still hope you guys enjoy. Yes, it will be the the objective for the legions is to get their elite unit, the eagle cohort, off to the other side of the map. If they get it to here, off the other side of the road, then they have uh, technically won. But like I already mentioned, the ambushers are going to be looking to destroy that unit and the eagle itself. But look at this! Look at these legions marching, shields ready. They fear that something is uh, not right in this hostile country. I mean, they they can't see these guys, even though we can see them. I actually couldn't see these guys. I was playing as the Romans. I could not see many of these guys. I think I could see the ones over here, but I couldn't see the ones um, on this side. They're a bit more well hidden. But here we go. The first conflict is going to actually be an attack on my general back here by some Viking scouts. My general, who's in a very big unit, will probably destroy them. But here we go. So the ambush is about to spring on this side as well. I kind of want to capture this, even though the it's going to be more epic seeing the legions spring into place. But we do have the fir first like four units, our cohorts there, the more basic units as Evocati. Then, as I've mentioned, it's the eagle cohorts. And here we go. It looks like it's going to be Shiltron coming up straight away. They're well upgraded because, well, the Romans, they'll shred through these guys otherwise. Here we go. So the Romans are getting into place. And there you go, the first clash. And it's the Shiltron that are going to be surrounding them. And here we go, more cohorts being as surrounded. And they're surrounding us from the other side now, which is even more like impressive. Like they're coming around this side now, they're gonna try and surround this cohorts unit. And the, these units out here, they're gonna be a real, really well surrounded. Put it like that, really well surrounded. It's not a great way of putting it, but they're gonna be very much out in the open. They're very much cut off from the rest of the line. But look, that like further down the line, lots more cohorts being surrounded and uh, put under great stress here. I mean, I couldn't form any formation. I couldn't get any shield walls, any test judos done. Most of them are just... I think there are a few at the front form test judo in time, but most of these are just fighting out as they are. So it's a lot more epic. A few legionaries down already. I can see quite a lot over here down. But these are the lower tier units that uh, Cur Cersen can bring. I was about to say Cursen, but that's not right. Cersen. But yes, it also looks like the Norse player here has been uh, routed with his cavalry. And now the general can move forward. I don't think he even took any losses, did he? Oh, he took six. It's not that bad. But here we go. So legions are having to be sent forward to defend the eagle. Which is already in combat. Here we go. Kohor's Evercarta. The more elite stuff already in battle. I mean, the whole line's going to be in battle. That's the whole objective, really, of the attackers. If they can get the whole line in battle, then they can go for the easy targets like archers general. The eagle cohort's not an easy target, but it's a target that needs to be taken out. 
But yes, since you guys enjoyed the last uh, Ninth Legion video, which uh, if you haven't seen, I'm pretty sure I'll leave a tag, like a tag for it at some point, either at the end of this video or now in the top right of your uh, screen. Then, well, if I haven't, then future Pope's an idiot. But yes, you guys seem to enjoy the last uh, video very much, so I decided, why not? Let's do another one. And what better to do than the actual like final defeat of the ninth? And look at that—that that was a jabby throw that we just saw there. I mean, I just like saw it out of the corner of my eye, but like all those bodies down there—they all came from jabbies, which is what the Romans are going to have over these uh, attackers because the jabbies. Well, they're only exclusive to Romans. Like, the Vikings obviously famously didn't have Javis, and Saxons didn't. And neither did the Scots, put it like that. So, um, yeah, but yeah, that was a good cavalry charge there by the general. He's basically routed that unit. That's kind of what my aim was now, was to just relieve any of these cohorts from being surrounded. Because it's really becoming an issue up this front end of the uh, column as well. And look, your cavalry over here sh uh, attacking uh, the King's Blade here. And they've been shot at in the back by uh, some armoured archers. So the Legionary Cavalry is going to go up here and going to deal with these uh, archers, and th that's going to be a really big win. Don't know if he's going to get them. They may just hide into the undergrowth, but I think those cavalry will deal with them. This is also a problem here. This Sword Herdman unit can really get behind it. Just all it needs to do is get activated almost, just give them the attack order, and they can get in there. Eggs and shooting here from the Highland Sharpshooters into the back of this unit here of Cohors. Quite a few units of the uh, Legion are getting beaten up right now. But it is going to be a, a tough fight, and I mean, it looks like the first few units, the, the weaker cohort legion, uh, the weaker cohort lead uh, units. I was, why do I want to call them legions? They cohort cohorts that would be would be right, but they're not. Oh, that's a good jabby throw. But yeah, so the cohorts are um, getting pretty beaten up. But these cohorts, Evercarty, are starting to like basically just clean up anything that's left. And let's see, let's see where the eagle cohort is. I think it's over here. This is it. Where is the eagle? Does it still fly? Yes, it does. Back here. Here he is. We'll call him Billy. I don't know why, but Billy seems appropriate. Oh no, let's call him Brutus. Brutus. You know, we'll go with a proper Roman name. Brutus the Banner Carrier. Billy, just silly. We won't call him Billy. But yes, um... A good charge here maybe by the general. Is he just going to go into the Shiltron? I don't know if he's trying to route them or if he's just trying to... What's he trying to do? I think he's trying to go and help out with this. Oh, the archers over are being caught as I'm like getting the red line in your faces. But yeah, these shield actually caught the archers. That's actually huge for the uh, attackers. But warriors are fleeing. Where are they fleeing? I think it's the cavalry at the far end is breaking. They did in fact get those archers, but they ended up costing their lives in doing so. But look, I mean, you can see, look how much is like still to come from the... Uh, Attackers, it's uh, not, not looking good, but I mean the balance of power is still not great, but Romans have come out of worse odds victors Cohors Mil Milaria getting ready to hold the line in case there's any more Fiends that come down the road. I mean these guys really need to turn around these cohorts See they're already up to silver chevrons double silver chevrons, and I didn't even chevron these guys up I don't know if it's just thrones, but like thrones just hands out uh, experience like it's I don't know on a platter just like there's a lot of, like it's grows from trees. But I mean, it looks like we're clearing up this first line of um, the attackers and their first ambush is going to have failed. Emphasis on first there. Wow, that was nasty from those archers shooting at them as they run away. That's what you get for fleeing Rome. And defying Rome's power and right to rule. Look at this guy here with his javi just sticking out of him. Nasty. Throw more javies into just like men as they run away. But here we go. It looks like the line's about to reform. Not before more cohorts break. And here we go. Cohorts being sent in. Cohorts malaria. Coming in to save the day as well. Good charge here. These spears are pretty damn cool. They do look awesome. With their like almost like centurion-like... Well, it is very much centurion uh, sort of head head garment going on.
But yeah, these guys will clear up these Alban axes pretty quickly. But not before another charge here from some uh, regrouped Shiltron. They might do a little bit of damage. I don't know really though if they will. Oh, they did actually route these guys. Wow, that, that flank did route these cohorts. That's huge. So yeah, this cohorts unit here is going to route. That's a real shame because we might need every unit we can possibly get right now. But as you can see, this is what's left of the Legion. Quite a bit left. I mean, look at the destruction that's been done so far. Look at that. The banner carrier is coming through with his Legionnaires. Limping. Through exhaustion. But this is all the destruction done so far. It's pretty nasty. They certainly did that. The first wave certainly did their damage. They certainly killed off a lot of legionaries. It's a rout. Our warriors flee the battle. And more cohorts breaking, I think. Oh no, yep, more cohorts breaking. It's just the cohorts malaria at the top here holding the line. They really need to get some tr troops to support that fight. Like this big blob here. Even though the archers are now shooting to the back of these guys, they're probably getting some good shots actually on these king's blades. But you might need to save ammo for later on. There are more enemies and more foes. Oh, that was a nasty javelin throw. That was just disgusting. And then there's just that guy there on his own. He's got a, a late last minute javelin. And there we go. Another unit coming. I think it's just a depleted unit. I think this is just Alvin Axman. Yeah, these poor guys are just going to... Oof. I think they're just getting thrown jabbies thrown at them. That's just disgraceful. Yeah, these poor guys will get messed up. I'm going to just fast forward a little bit um, while the uh, line reforms and we will we'll see what happens. I mean, there are some uh, swords over here. Sword Herman. I actually can't see these guys. They were pretty well hidden. But I could not see these guys. And uh, they, they may cause some trouble later on as we move up currently. The attacks have been quite sneaky, just constantly keeping troops hidden. I can't see most of these guys either. I can see quite a few of these guys as they move around in the forest, though. And there's stuff all the way back here. Speared hearse here. Got royal horsemen here. Here comes the line. The line of uh, Rome is being remade. This is what remains of the Legion. What's it down to? Just over 1,500 men. So about lost half its strength in that first initial ambush. Quite a lot of units beaten up. But if you know Rome, Rome can hold. I mean, if we got, so, if I get the right chance, I can form some nice formations, like square formation, test judo. We can hold lots of enemies at bay, as we saw in the previous battle. I know it's against AI, but it's still uh, the case. Look at this. Here's the uh, eagle. The centurion doesn't look so well, though. He seems like he's coughing up a lot. Now the eagle cohort is holding the rear. There was units that were holding the rear to protect it, but now it's the most healthy unit left, and it needs to hold itself. But here we go, so we're marching down the road. I'll just keep it on fast forward for a little bit as we march up. My general is protecting all the archers, which is going to be key because we're going to need every arrow we can get. I mean, look at these boys. I it also takes us a lot of micro, I've realized, to uh, move every single unit and keep it in column formation. It was uh, very painful, but I mean, we're getting very close to the next ambush. What have we got next? We look like we've got mailed, we've got a lot of Norse troops now. We're going to be lots of mailed hearse here. We've got more King's Blades from Cersen. Um, actually, quite a lot of troops from Cersen. We've got Highland Sharpshoes back here. Lots of mailed hearses, sword hearses. Are any Yom's Vikings? I'm sure there are some Yom's, Yom's Vikings in here. Yeah, Yom's Vikings. So yeah, unfortunately we had to use like Norse because we found we've done this uh, this ambush before and we realised that two armies of Cersei, even like with upgrades, just weren't able to beat Rome. So we had to uh, basically bring a more beefy faction. So we brought the Norse uh, faction because you could uh, I don't know you could imagine maybe some like nasty Norse people just came north to help, I don't know, in the Picts in some way, or they were invading. Or they just represent the more hardy tribes of the Picts. That's kind of what I was going for. But it does look like uh, we're moving slowly into the next trap. And it looks like it's going to be the cohorts or the remains of the cohorts. 
That's going to be next in. And there's already a unit wavering. It's not even got into combat. 29 men. Cohorts, mil Malaria here also pretty beaten up. It's mostly Evercati left. And not many units of Evercati. But there you go. So it looks like the uh, Sword Herdmen have been mobilized. I think I can now see them. But not quite yet. But here we go. It's going to be the next ambush. I'm a form square formation because I did manage to then see these guys. And I also saw this movement over here. So I was like, right, we're forming square formation. And we're going to hold. And here we go. This poor cohorts unit is now having a hold at the front of this line. This is going to be pretty hard for it. This is like all fresh units. There you go. Legionnaires getting cut down. The square formation doing nothing for them. And cohorts malaria also joining the fight. And that cohorts unit, that 29 that was wavering, broke just as soon as they arrived. There you go, the Romans dying as they uh, arrive. This is pretty, this is going to be nasty. Lots of square formations here. It's going to be hard for the units to break through. But I'm also taking the offensive over here. I'm not going to let these guys just surround my men. And here we go, I'm going to do some surrounding of my own. And then he, the picks are also going to surround my troops. But the Romans are not too bo bothered about being surrounded, especially when they can then surround again. And there's going to be a big old fight going on over here. These King's Blades, they probably won't hold too well. They're actually the most elite sword unit, and they still can't do that great against Romans. I mean, it just shows the strength and OPness of Romans and thrones. It looks like more spears being sent up. Are these, I think these are the Norse spears. Yeah. They're going to do a bit nastier. I'm just going to hold here. I don't even think I'm going to assault. I'm just holding the flank. Just going to let my units I know will win in this fight. And here we go. Is this going to be a good... Is it going to be a jabby throw here? No. Good if we could have one more good jabby throw. But here we go. Roman's clashing once more. Oh, excellent. Kill the dastardly barbarians. These picks that dare to harass us on the road as we conquer more land. But yeah, this is not good. Roman's losing here. This cohort unit losing. We've got units breaking all the way back here. Archers breaking. Not a good sign. What is it? Oh, it's cavalry. So Cersei's sending some cavalry. He's got... His, my Legacy's here is dealing with them. L winning decisively. Is it gold chevron already? It's at half strength though. That's not a good sign. But I mean... The Royal Horsemen seem almost out of ammo. Are they going to try and get one more charge to my archers? I think they are. This could be a good charge. Oh, that's not actually a bad charge. Definitely going to have done some damage there. Now we got just sending the archers in. We're just going to harass them. Better than to run away. Here we go. This is basically the front line of the legions at the moment. Or the legion, I should say. But for every Roman that we lose, we're taking at least three or four picks with us. They just don't stand up in quality. But more and more legionaries are starting to fall. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. For Rome and the Emperor. But yes, it's uh, quite interesting to see where Rome, um, the Ninth Legion actually did fall. Some people do believe it's in Scotland. Some people believe like the uh, uh, the Legion was split up. So some of it went uh, to Illyria. And some went to uh, like southern France. And they like... Because... And then they went north. Um, did the remaining of the Legion to Scotland. So some of it did survive in theory in Illyria or, uh, or in southern France. Or Southern Gaul, I should say. and uh, But because they heard, then heard about the disappearance of the Ninth, the rest of it was either disbanded or they were just amalgamated into other legions. So in theory, the Ninth does survive in pieces, but um, it's unknown, really, what happens to them. They may have di disappeared elsewhere. They, some people believe it was in the East in one of the wars against Parthia. Yeah, there's no real time frame to when it happened, but it definitely happened in Hadrian, or possibly happened between, like, Hadrian's and Septimus Severus's, like, rain but more Romans seem like they're actually no it looks like the Romans have just really tired they've broken that King's Blade unit there and that looks like it's going to be it looks like most of these units are 
retreating. Look, the Romans are falling back. They've just seen this huge horde of what's still to come. Look at all these men. Look at all these men that the picks still have. This is disgusting. All these spears that have been gathered by the chieftains of Scotland to fight Rome. Yes, and just to take a simple Roman legion out and take their eagle, which is still flying. The eagle cohort has been in lots of combat, but has only lost about less than 60 men. And the eagle flies high and true. But here you go. Rome is going to decide to make its final stand. The eagle is going to make its final stand. They realize that they can't get through. The road is just... Well, it's blocked. Really. Like, we could push through here and get the cohort just to the end of the red road. Um, but it is not going to happen. The Norse would just not allow it. They've got cavalry um, back here with the general. And they've got plenty of archers. But it's just not going to happen. They're just not going to get there in time. So we decided... A final stand for the ninth is what is right. So I'm going to just fast forward again. And we're going to uh, watch as the final stand of the ninth takes place. It looks like they're going to form a square. And that is going to be what happens. And here you, here we go. The first units are coming forward. It looks like it's going to be archers coming forward first. Whether they've run out of ammo or not, I do not know. Um, but yes, it's going to be lots of archers coming first. Going to weaken us. But yeah, look at this. Just the destroyed units that are left. These archers still have ammo, though, as far as I'm aware. They don't have bows in their hand, but um, they do have ammo left. I think it's just because they've been fighting in combat, they got their swords out. The Legatus is here. He's got his horses. And soon he'll hopefully be told to, be, to dismount and uh, join the combat. Here we go. The first line of engagement. It's going to be... These archers fighting it out. These guys will probably just be easy pickings for the Romans. Easy pickings. They're short spears. Short spears, short swords. Do plenty of damage to these archers. And there we go. The Romans have pushed those guys back, basically. These guys are w already wavering. It looks like the Norse ones are being sent in over here. This is the weak side. Um, it's only a 49 unit and a... That's not the other unit. This one's 60 um, man units holding this side. But uh, they have held. They have held. And now what we've got coming up? Yom's Vikings. This is concern, especially since they're coming on this side where the Romans are. But more... Picks coming in now, and the Roman, uh, the archers being sent back in, and it looks like the king's blades are not going to be sent in. They're just going to hold the line. Yes, the bodies of archers are now piling up. These Romans are happy to take on these guys every single time. So eager that they're going to come out of formation. Ah, the king's blades are going to form a shield wall. Well, that's not the end of the world. I mean, that's quite nice. It's quite satisfying. I mean, it's also not the end of the world if they're just going to stand there. Um, but yeah, now the archers are just focusing down these shield biters over here. Look at this. They're units of 60. Um, but they're pretty damn elite, so they definitely need taking out. And look at this. They're just getting focused down. They're already down to about half strength. Just getting shot in the back. This is disgraceful. But, um, but yeah, so it looks like the Romans are about to die. They're getting surrounded on all sides. But not before they take out as many of these goddamn Vikings. Are, well, not Vikings. Uh, picks as they can. But they are they are actually Vikings. They do look like Vikings. Not long left, boys. I hope you guys have been enjoying this battle. It has been an epic one. It's been a little bit one-sided. But there has always been hope for Rome. And it's also just great to see Rome. Struggle almost. Oh, and that was that unit's gone just like that. More archers being sent back in. These poor archers being sent in for a third time. 
as if they ever thought, okay, that unit already broke before they even got there. This, uh, this one's a bit more braver. But they're going to break as soon as they engage. This, look at that guy. He's, he was pretty tall. He's just like, no, I'm not going to be able to fight. Here we go. Now the archers are just picking off anyone and anyone, anyone and everyone that just shows themselves. It's just, well, there's a massive blob back here. You can shoot anything. But the Yom's Vikings have engaged. I just missed their charge. But they are now engaging in... They are engaging on this weak side over here. This is a big concern to the Romans. I mean, they do have the Eagle Cohort. And it's uh, in the center, but it's going to form square. Even after this formation dies, there is another formation ready to hold. And the Legatus is in is in and amongst them. And this is going to be the final stand, you imagine. The, le the Eagle Cohort here, holding to the last. The archers are still doing their bit. They're still trying to get shots off. The Evercarty holding them back for now. If you've not watched the Eagle, um, the film, then it's definitely worth watching. Which is kind of where I got the inspiration, but I mean, um, for doing this. But I mean, if you shame there wasn't more woods, but I mean, at the same time, if there was more woods, that would be more realistic, but you guys just wouldn't have seen so much. So I guess it's, there's benefits to both. Um... To both uh, arguments are like for and against woods. But if you, it would have been quite cool if you could have legionaries like falling on their own swords. Because that's apparently what happened in history. Like when they realised that it was all over. And they was, and like the men were starting to get sacrificed to the gods of the Picts. They were falling on their own swords rather than being sacrificed. Like centuri officers like centurions are often the targets of these sacrifices apparently. But, I mean, a lot of these Yom Vikings are still falling. Um, I mean, Legionary's are still st steadily falling as well. I mean, they're just out of tiredness more than anything. They are actually breaking through here, the uh, Yom Vikings. They've got around, or like in between these two units. They're not abusing these gaps, which is good of the uh, players that were playing as the picks, which is good. I always like to see that. Just keep it up. Let the Romans stand as long as they can. I mean, they kind of like charging here and they got behind, but that's not the end of the world. They're going to fall anyway, the Romans. And they're killing them off anyway in the back lines anyway. It doesn't really matter. Executing them. Oh, they prodded him in the back. How that's cowardly. Let him face you head on. Oh, chopping these men down. Excellent, and here we go. I mean, look, this is basically the surrounding it. There's a lot of pressure going on over here. Many of the archers have been sent in over here. I think they're all out of ammo, but they've all been sent in over here to hold this line, keep this strong. Okay, we've got one unit left with arrows, focusing down everything in this blob here. How many arrows they do have left, who knows. But yeah, lots of Sagittarii up here now. Lots of men breaking, and that's the cohorts breaking here. Don't break! There's nowhere to run. Hold the line. Die for Rome. This man made that decision. He held the line. He held the line. But yeah, they're now on to the uh, final legion. Or the final cohort, I should say. Which is the heart of the legion. It is the ninth. And here it is. The... The eagle's right in the corner. I don't know why they didn't put it in the center. It'd be kind of cool if the eagle would just go in the center. But they are now surviving. And the centurion's on the front line. What a brave man. What a brave man. How long would that eagle last though? Who knows? But I mean, this is also looking a bit concerning here. I mean, I'm surprised they haven't surrounded them here. When They certainly have the men that they could do so. But this is a very thin line now with Cohors holding the line. The enemy general is dead. So yes, the uh, Norse Royal Hoskar has decided to send himself in and he's got himself killed. I'm not quite sure where, but he's he's got himself killed. Which is always good for us. But this is also concerning now. They're being surrounded over here. The Evercarty. But plenty 
A pick still falling. But we still have a general. We still have a general up here. Look at him. Kind of looks cool with his little banner here. It kind of gives off the Pictish vibe. Cheering away. Yes, you do that. And I think the general, I don't know who the general is. This guy, I presume, he's got his sword out. Yes, he's observing from a hill, watching on as the ninth falls. The banner carrier is now very much in the front lines. He's, I think he is actually fighting, isn't he? There he is. Come on, Brutus. Brutus, you can do this. Keep whacking away with your eagle. I'm sure that'll do some damage, whacking someone with it. Get back. Send him back. The man, the mad's mad. Where's the centurion? I think he's fallen. I think the centurion of the ninth, of like the first cohort of the ninth has fallen. And the centurion of the first cohort, if you didn't know, is one of the most senior ranks you can get in um, the legion. It's that, then camp prefect. And then obviously legate. Or Legatus. And the Legate is hiding amongst the uh, troops here. And there, I can't see Brutus anymore. Oh, no, here he is. Couldn't see Brutus, but he's still alive. But yeah, certainly the Centurion's gone. How long till Brutus will fall? It can't be long. He's staying on the front line, the madman. Yeah, these other few units over here holding their bit. This unit here, I'd just like to mention, did actually break all the units in front of it. And then it had to be surrounded by other units. It was a brave last stand. There's a very cool little circle they'd formed. But yeah, the final few Avocado units fighting off individual little battles over here they're fighting. And there you go, they've just been broken. And now it's just really down to this final unit here. 37 of them left. They've just broken. Some Sagittarii sent in. As well, and they've all been killed. And there we go. It's just down to the final unit. It's down to the ninth. First, the eagle of the ninth. It must hold. It must hold. And look at that. All these men waving their shields. What are they doing? The silly people. Silly people. You will not go forgotten, legionnaires. Die with honor and glory. Fight for Rome. Kill as many of these goddamn barbarians as you can, these dirty men. I mean, you look at this front line. They still say there's more dead picks than there are legionnaires here. Like, that's just disgusting. Like, how many of these legion, uh, like these guys and the legionaries took out. I mean, I think the, the main and most decisive damage was done in the first ambush. And after that, it was just chipping away. Just chipping away at, like, the constant... Uh, with constant ambushes, which they did really well. And it did actually give a, a good uh, ambush vibe. But here we go. Look at this. They're just doing a massive press now. They're just going to try and break these guys with overwhelming... And look at this. this. I'll just do like a bird's eye. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to keep it like that for a bit. That's kind of quite cool to look. Look at the lines. That's, they're really in amongst the cohort now. Where's Brutus? I can't see him. Can anyone see Brutus? I cannot see Brutus. Let's get in close. See if we can find Brutus. I think the eagle might have fallen. The general has fallen. I think the eagle has fallen. Well, the eagle certainly will fall soon. Yeah, I think it's gone. I can't see it. The ninth is lost. The eagle is lost. Regain it. Regain. But there, that, if the eagle's lost, there's nothing to... You can't fight for anything. There's nothing like... No standard bearer to where you got to fight. Eagle lost, honor lost. Honor lost, all lost. Hold, legionaries. Fight with honor. Since all your other honor is lost from losing the eagle. There is no place for you in Rome now. And there we go. A valiant defeat. Unfortunately, the Romans could just not hold. And the ninth is no more. But yes, yeah, so out of the 3,300 ploy, 3,000 lost their lives. 300, you'd suspect, are hiding in the forests. A bit like in the eagle. Um, and trying to avoid Pictish... Uh, 
parties that are just hunting down the deserters. But, I mean, they did kill 6,100. So, the majority of these men. Um, so, they killed, yeah, out of the 8,000 lost, uh, only 2,000 made it back to their homes. I mean, we'll quickly have a look at some of the units. This one got 6,000, uh, 6,000, 624 kills. The Eagle Cohort, um, or the, yeah, like, the first cohort got... 586, that's pretty damn good. The cavalry did well. The general got 366. And most of the others, none of them actually got below um, 100 did any of the legionary cohorts. Um, but they all did excellent. So there you go, you can have a look at the end results for them. There are the ones as well for Cersen and the Norse. So if you want to have a look at them, they are there for you to look at. But if you guys enjoyed this battle, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. Uh, if there's any other scenarios you want me to... Uh, to try and recreate. Thank you for uh, Aiden and Dodgy Gob for taking part in this uh, ambush and making it possible. Always appreciate your help. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.